From inspecting the engines of a 737 to the crush of passengers flying this summer, every airline is on the hunt for pilots. Flaps up after take off us. Flaps up. At United's Pilot Training Center in Denver, they're pushing through a record 40 to 70 new hires every week. Among the instructors, Scott Cartfed, a former Navy Blue Angel pilot, who served as a stunt pilot and trainer in the latest Top Gun Maverick movie. Now he's training pilots who come from the military or regional airlines to what he calls the big leagues. What is the biggest challenge you face as you try to bring new pilots and accommodate them into this aircraft? We've got to teach them how to fly these big airplanes safely and professionally to ensure that they, our customers, have confidence in us and know that we're going to deliver them safely to their families worldwide. But it can take years to move up from small regional planes to a major carrier. Every new pilot at United will spend five weeks in the simulator learning the intricacies of the specific plane they'll eventually fly. Like First Officer Erica Hittinga. I definitely did start the floor a little early. Who first flew cargo planes and, like many, spent a small fortune to become a pilot. You graduated with $100,000 yes. in student loan debt. Yep. And yet you still want to do this. Yes, I love it. I couldn't imagine doing anything else. It's an amazing lifestyle. I've seen the whole world. That steep price tag is a big reason for today's national pilot shortage. With fewer pilots coming from the military, United, Southwest, Delta, and American have dropped their four-year college degree requirements. Several, including United, have opened pilot training programs for candidates with no flight experience. Former Navy top gun pilot Michael Bonner runs United's program. We are aggressively looking all the way down into the uh, high school levels, um, trying to reach out and encourage and entice and motivate uh, young people to think about the aviation profession. Veteran pilots can make more than $350,000, and every airline is hiring now. Tom Costello, NBC News, Denver.